Hi guys, and welcome back to the Tommy Starcraft channel. It's your host Tommy with yet another Starcraft Remastered replay cast here from the South Korean server. We have a very interesting PVT once again, as we have spawning here in the upper right in the orange. It is a mysterious orange barcode, very high APM. I'm not quite sure if it's Bisu or not. But I think Bisu only has 14 barcodes, and this looks like 15 barcodes. So I don't know who this uh, player is, but of course a South Korean pro could be best, could be snow, who knows. However, I do know who this person right here is spawning in the row right in the green. It is Flash with his AK4 spawning location map. Once again, Flash versus a Protoss this time. Seems to be a very strong Protoss indeed. With a very high APM opening up with a casual pylon here next to his base. He is very likely going to continue with a gateway. So no intentions yet for him to go for a fast expand. Flash also opening up it once again with his supply depot and please notice that once again he's placing it very close to his command center just in case a Protoss wants to early harass him with some zealots this is much used as the Terran to micro your marines in between the two buildings here so a first nice sim city build order here for the Terran as he's continuing with his barracks to also create here a wall of I believe he's going to continue with another supply depot and yet another supply depot here and with a barracks in the front so yeah let's have a look at the protos as the first uh, scouting scvs and the probes are moving out here onto the map it looks like a very nice greedy gameplay here for the protos no gateway for him here he's going straight for a fast expansion build order so of course flash could punish this with a move out with some more wins with a tank and yeah, they will meet now here and of course the protos tries of course to block the SCV as much as he can as Flash might try to finish this game very very soon so in comes the SCV a very uh, lucky move out here by Flash sees the fast expand sees the timing from the gateway is he going to try to steal perhaps the gas let's have a look no it's just roaming around here with his SCV being of course annoying as much as he can and yeah in comes the probe from Protoss as he might try to steal the gas here yes indeed so yeah with that not only that he is annoying flash but at the same time he has vision here into the main so very fast move as flash of course did save some minerals for the fast expand so no intentions here for flash to finish the game fast going for the expansion there's the gateway we should be seeing a cybernetic score very soon here for the Protoss and he's actually going to finish here the simulator. So Flash will have to take it out with a couple of Marines, with a couple of SCVs. So yeah, nice move by the uh, Protoss. But hold on, actually, we do see Flash move out. So of course he's trying to finish the game, given the fact that he saw that fast expansion build order. There's one Marine in the back. Good micro here by both players. The SCV has been killed. Second SCV also taking quite some damage. We do have, however, a Zealot now out onto the map. And to try to snap the SCV. So two SCVs have already fallen here for Flash. In come the reinforcements and they really want to finish the bunker. And a good job here finally by Flash as he's able to finish this bunker. And yet building yet another bunker in the front. So a nice micro here all of a sudden. The Protoss in some serious serious trouble as the second Zealot has to be produced of course. The SCV will have to be snapped very soon. But the Protoss actually deciding to go for the bunker with all of his forces. Taking quite some damage here dropping really really low and the bunker will hold as more and more hold and actually the bunker has been taken out and now scvs are pulling back great micro war in the early game here in between the two pros flash of course knows that the zealot is really really strong he's trying to target it the probes doing their job here really really nicely here giving cover towards the zealot and in comes flash with his scv reinforcement so even though he went for a fast expand is trying to finish this game very very much early as the bunker takes more and more damage so the SCVs have to come here to repair it really really fast but the Protoss is very nicely here so what a chaotic scene into the early game as we have probes fighting versus SCVs and even one zealot is still alive so yeah great great early game very aggressive game and I believe Flash is still going to try to build perhaps a bunker here but yeah the Protoss should be able to hold this I believe he's going to also try to see what exactly is into the main finally we do see a late cybernetic score and gas is still up here for the Protoss as he's roaming around with his uh, probe he might even try to hide a building here 
Perhaps a robotics facility bay, who knows, with a pylon. And yeah, the first factory is also being constructed here for Flash. So what a nice early game we had here, as we have passed the 5 minute mark. Crazy early game indeed, the probe is still around to scout perhaps the facilities here from Flash. We have a bunker into the expansion point. And yeah, things have settled down a little bit as both players are now pretty much focusing into creating more workers. 30 for the Protoss, 28 here for Flash as the simulator will drop very very soon. So I believe he's also going to try perhaps to go for some vultures now to harass the mineral line from the opponent. The probe is still around. We see a robotics facility bay into the main from the Protoss. I believe the Protoss is also going to transition into some observers or perhaps a shuttle gameplay with some reavers. Would be a possibility here for him and yeah let's have a look at the next steps into the game we might see some starports or no actually flash deciding to go for more and more factories here and we also see another nexus here so quite a greedy gameplay here for the protoss as he feels confident that the dragoons will fend off any attack by some vultures and yeah we have now finally turned into a normal terran versus protoss gameplay as it was a very Nice early harassment here by Flash. He really tried to finish the game very, very fast, but his investment into the expansion proved to be a little bit too much. Perhaps a double barracks would have been needed for the push. But yeah, the Protoss did his good job into defending. And like I told you, we have turned this into a normal Terran versus Protoss now as more and more gateways are being produced. Let's have a look at Flash. It's going into some tanks now, so no vultures early on for him. Playing it a little bit more defensively, as we see also weapons one getting upgraded range for the dragoons. We see the first observer as Flash decides to play defensively. The Protoss realizing that and just pretty much expanding all over the map here, adding his dragoons out, patrolling the map, scouting for some drones, perhaps. Oh, sorry for some mines. And yeah, Flash will be able to secure now his expansion, also opting to move out. His barracks a little bit just to have more vision onto the map in, in case there will be a shuttle drop happening here from the opponent. We also see a citadel of a dune. You might see some high templars, we might see some dark templars. Could be a possibility a dark templar shuttle rush versus the opponent, as we also see some goliaths getting produced here for um, Flash, interesting enough. So he's expecting a drop by the opponent, and he might even try to scan the area here versus the observer very soon just to have vision but yeah scan not being available yet for him so he's expecting a drop this is why he added the lights here and even hiding a seven uh a command center there into the corner as now the protoss is getting more and more vision here of the main from flash we also see a starport could be some dropship harassment could be a science vessel here for him could be also a brace to counter the shuttle gameplay or if there's going to be a shuttle gameplay here we see the templar archives so indeed we are very likely going to be seeing some high templar storms or some dark templar harassment by the protos so all in all both players just preparing now their macro into the game like i thought you things have settled down as we close in towards the 10 minute mark there's a nice hidden templar archive here Good wall up by the Protoss. Both players decide to defend, not to move out. They have vision from... Actually, the Protoss has vision from the opponent. Flash doesn't really have any vision. But of course, scan the area. I believe that's exactly what he's doing. And the Protoss, realizing this, of course, decides to just pretty much expand all over the map. Inviting Flash, perhaps, to attack very soon. He's on sieging and it looks like he's going to move out, perhaps, to secure the expansion onto the three o'clock position at the same time protos also moving out here with his dragoons one shuttle is getting produced and slowly but steadily the terran is now moving forward to gain more and more map control to of course spread his tanks and have the expansion secured as the protos just leaves those observers out to have vision no mines no vultures interesting enough flash deciding to go for some goliaths but I believe very soon he's going to transition into some uh, vultures here as well. One weapons upgrade has been done. Dragoons still on 0-0. Zero, zero. So plus 5 damage here for those siege tanks. As we see a turret here for vision. 
for Flash and yeah the expansion also already pumping out here. Already 69 workers for the Protoss, 64 for Flash. Yeah the Protoss just keeps on expanding all over the map. Flash plays it more and more defensively, the first Vultures are out for him. More and more upgrades are going out and we might see once again massive amounts of shuttles for the Protoss as we also see so so many gateways here for him getting produced so it is indeed turning into a normal Terran versus Protoss Flash however seems to be lacking a little bit behind for the production only four factories here for him with one starport is it going to be enough against all of the massive gateway units here from the Protoss we are about to find out as he's creating a nice B line a very defensive gameplay here indeed by Flash I believe he's just going to wait to be maxed out and then he will decide very likely to move out here onto the map and attack perhaps the newly established bases here from his opponent. So yeah, we're about to find out. Some Even some marines have joined here the Terran defense as more and more buildings are getting produced here to block the ramp right here. And yeah, the Protoss just staying here with his Dragoons as 12 Zealots have been produced now all of a sudden at the same time so yeah very very strong economy indeed here for the protoss as he's moving out still going to wait for his speed to be done weapons one also being done shuttle is being added here so we might see the first move out here by the protoss but there are no mines to defend here so flash going to pretty much rely onto those goliaths in the front his buildings perhaps is going to build some supply depots as we see a massive move out here indeed by the protoss with his units let's have a look at this shuttle just four zealous but remember there are no mines on the ground so the tanks should be fine as yeah here we go the zealot is in the front immediately getting taken out more and more zealots are joining here the attack the dragoons try to get a good position the tanks are still not being touched yet and finally in come the storms with the zealots at the same time and yeah flash still of course has to hold his ground great storms have been added here for the protoss versus all of those tanks massive amounts of splash damage and I believe this could be a winning move here by the Protoss as he's moving forward. Flash still has some tanks in the back. So perhaps some mines would have been a better decision here as he's taking more and more splash damage. And all of the units all of a sudden here for Flash have been dropped. So the Protoss deciding now to go for the newly established piece. So Flash in some serious, serious trouble. Even some storm can be casted here onto those SCVs as he's trying to counter with some vultures. So perhaps a small mistake here by Flash not going into so, so many vultures. Heightened was still on idle here, not deciding to cast a Heightened Storm. Quite a chaotic scene once again as Flash has to transfer his uh, SCVs to his main. And now Vultures have been added immediately by him as he saw that the first attack didn't really work out well for him. The first defense actually. So Mines still better decision than Goliaths with tanks. And now the Vultures pretty much will take out the remaining Zealots and the High Templar Storms. So yeah, the uh, expansion is still secured. Flash is still moving out now, trying to buy time for his uh, unit production with some mines into the middle of the map. In the meantime, the Protoss just kept on expanding while he was attacking. And I believe Flash is going to try for us to just place as many mines as possible into the middle of the map. Snapping whatever he can, just moving out fast with his vultures. As finally some observers have been added, but... Flash now with a lucky move out he's going to be able to snap so so many probes here so very good move by him I believe he was able to snap around seven probes and even now he's going to move closer and closer towards the newly established bases here even being able to snap two more probes I believe he could even snap this one here there are cannons to defend as Flash is nicely spreading here his units just moving around all over the map with the fast vultures and with that of course he is forcing the protos to stay a little bit behind to defend and the Protoss also will have to be needed some observers to move here forward. And yeah, still damage being taken. So he has to wait for some observers. Lots and lots of mines are being added by the Terran. At the same time, Flash actually feeling confident to move here forward with his units. Not having so much supply than the Protoss. But I believe he's going to try to find a good position for those tanks to siege up. To secure this ramp right here. And to make it really, really hard for the Protoss to attack. So the Protoss now reacting immediately with two shuttles I believe some zealots have been added and in comes the attack with some high temper storms they will be dropped here straight into the Terran base and massive amounts of splash damage have been added here 
still great great defense here defensive matrix is all over the place the zealots are now finally attacking and a great flank here by the protoss with a good position and the high tempers have done a great job as well as flash will of course lose this army right here he has also done some damage towards the protoss but in the end the protoss with a much better move out here finally some tanks in the back will be able to secure the ramp but the reinforcements are pulling here forward for the protoss this is just so so many gateways here into the main massive amounts of production by the protoss however notice that the protoss has dropped 251 workers as he's now moving forward with his unit some high tempers might get casted once again here and flash is able to somehow survive here versus the attacks so or the tanks proving to be once again really really strong uh, interesting high tempo storm or defensive high tempo storms as the vultures will be kited back and forward and yeah still so so much damage is being taken left and right a good micro here for, for both players as flash tries of course once again to snap the high templar and is once again moving forward with his vultures in the front with his tanks in the back and the reinforcements are once again pulling here forward for the protoss but yeah his newly established base is in some trouble he really needs some observers here as he's taking so much damage out of those mines so a great game changing plan once again here by flash as two high templars have been added here so with some storms some scvs have very likely fallen here but still flash at 58 workers as now finally some drop has happened here by the shuttle and we see once again high tempo storms versus the terran this time a much much better defense here for flash as he's able to move forward with two vultures getting micro here just to snap the probes and the other vultures just pretty much protecting the tanks and adding those mines onto the ground as slowly but steadily we close in towards the 20 minute mark and the first base from the protoss is about to get snapped very soon so flash with a nice move at the same time he's trying to move out with his vultures but there's also many cannons here waiting for him so the protoss makes really really makes it really really hard for his economy to get damaged this base will be taken out so first small victory here for flash let's see if it's going to be enough one cannon might get snapped and with that the floodgates might get opened as flash is now moving forward and another base is under siege here so flash with a very nice move snapping cannon after cannon but the new cannons will be finished very very soon for him and once again i believe two vultures will be microed into attacking the units the probes from the opponent so yeah more and more economic damage is being taken here by the protoss as he's dropping to 50 workers and i believe flash is not being done he might be lucky to snap two or three more workers here adding some mines and with that i believe the harassment has been halted now as flash even took this expansion right here so yeah good economic damage by him regrouping now into the middle of the map let's just check the upgrades very quickly two to three already here for him the dragoons only zero to one so once again flash opting to give great importance towards his upgrades we see now finally armor is getting finished here for the protoss as more and more tanks are now creating a nice beeline here into the middle of the map and let's see what so so many zealots are here for him massive amounts of zealots with some shuttles with some high templars here let's see how the protoss will be able to perhaps get a good position versus those tanks as he's now moving out with massive amounts of units and the vultures still doing a great great job here with speed buying so much time for flash to recover but still the economy is looking really really good for the protoss his income and also his supply is looking very very high so let's see what he is able to be doing perhaps an arbiter a surprise arbiter would be a nice idea here for, by him as the reinforcements are now pulling forward so i believe he's going to try to somehow surround the enemy units the zealots are in the front the first mines are getting some good connections the tanks are nicely spread in the back but the income the shuttles the first shuttle is taking quite some damage or will, will be taken out the second shuttle also being taken out here but still not that many high temple storms are getting a good connection now the zealots are moving forward to get some good connections towards the tanks finally a great storm has been added and the zealots are making it here forward but still flash is holding his ground and a much much better engagement here for him with a great anti-air turret and even this one high templar will be taken out so only two shuttles here perhaps six shuttles will be needed by the opponent and we do see a gg out here for the protoss so interesting enough he decides to gg out i believe he could have stayed a little bit longer into the game perhaps change his tactics into going for an arbiter perhaps 
some more shuttle gameplay with some more harassments towards the mineral line from the opponent. I don't really think that we should have GG'd out here, but I believe the next push from Flash at the same time would have been really, really devastating. So perhaps this is why the Protoss has decided to GG out. Uh, I believe Flash would have moved here into the upper left part and just take out two new bases. So I believe that was the main decision here from the Protoss to GG out. And yeah, with that, Flash taking this game, very hard game for him. A very good Protoss gameplay here. Perhaps more shuttles are needed, around four to six. Just drop the Zealots first and then the High Templars. We've seen this other Protoss do in previous replays here onto this channel. And it worked out really, really well versus Flash. So yeah, I guess more shuttles are indeed needed as there were so, so many Zealots. Perhaps even eight shuttles would be a nice idea. Just dropping those zealots straight in front of the tanks. And then the tanks will be able to punish themselves with splash damage. And also mines could get lured towards the tanks. But yeah, this time flash proving to be much, much... I wouldn't say stronger, but a much better defensive gameplay here by him. A much better positioning here by him. Also having anti-air with some turrets, with some goliaths. And yeah, in the end he was able to... Take this game so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to try to be as active as much as i can so yeah this is your host tommy signing out